Welcome back to our Demon Souls walkthrough series. I'm your host, Ram Jabari. So far, we've introduced you to the cursed land of Boletaria, given you a rundown on battle basics, and showed you the possibilities a PlayStation Network account can unleash. Now, in this third and final installment, let's take a look at the system that drives it all, the Tendency System. In Demon Souls, the law of tendency reigns supreme. For every action you make, there is a light or dark reaction that affects the world, demons, and people around you. Tendency falls into two basic categories, world and character. Both tendencies begin as neutral, but they won't stay that way for long. To help keep track of your world and character tendency, use the Tendency tab, located in the game's main menu. The world tendency for each region is represented by its particular archstone, while your character tendency is represented by a human statue located in the center of the stones. How you act in a particular region determines the color of its corresponding archstone. The more evil your actions, the darker the stone, and vice versa. Just remember, your world tendency in one region won't affect your tendency in another, but no matter where you are, all of your actions will affect your character tendency. World Tendency is responsible for altering your current region, depending on your goodwill or evil intentions. In a region with light world tendency, demons are easier to defeat, and your character will have his or her full possible health points available, but the items demons drop won't be as plentiful. In a region with dark world tendency, demons have greater strength, and you will have less than your full potential health points, but you'll be rewarded with more souls per kill and a better item drop rate. Each of these dark or light characteristics varies depending on how light or dark you've made the region. There are two basic ways to shift world tendency. Follow the light by doing good deeds, like ridding Boletaria of its most evil demons, and your world tendency in that particular region will shift towards white. If you fail to kill the demons in a region and end up losing your body instead, the region will shift towards black. Keep to the light, or join the dark side long enough, and new ways of altering your tendency will become available, some of which will actually allow you to move back towards the other end of the spectrum. Reach the far end of the light side of world tendency, and you'll find that region's specific NPC. This will bring new quests, items, and other rewards. Make your tendency dark enough, and you'll invite a special primeval demon to appear in that particular region. As in the earlier example, by defeating the demon, you'll start to shift back towards the light side. Similarly, if you choose to kill the region-specific NPC, you'll move back towards the dark side. Continue to blacken your world tendency and you'll find the NPC again. Only this time, he'll appear as a black phantom bent on exacting revenge. While killing an NPC in the first place may seem counterproductive, it's actually one way to get some especially rare items which will vary depending on whether the NPC's region is more white or black at the time. How nicely you treat the region-specific NPCs affects your character tendency as well. Character tendency, as the name suggests, affects the light or dark nature of your character, which is dependent on your acts of kindness or cruelty. A character with tendency leaning more towards the dark side will have lower HP and lower attack power while a character with lighter tendency will have more of their maximum HP and attack power available. Besides the NPCs you meet in each region, you can actually kill the NPCs who make their home in the Nexus and those you've met along the way. These actions, as well as invading another player's game and killing them, and any other helpful phantoms they've summoned, will obviously shift your character tendency towards the dark side. Likewise, if you defeat a black phantom or help a blue phantom regain his or her body, you'll gain more light tendency. Make your character tendency extremely white or extremely black, and you'll unlock new quests and items, some of which might produce special effects under certain tendencies. Thank you for watching our Demon Souls video walkthrough series. For more helpful Demon Souls hints, visit the game's official website at www.demons-souls.com.